my dear brothers and sisters today we gather here to reflect upon the profound words of Jesus Christ as recorded in the 17th chapter of the Gospel of John in this chapter we witness Jesus prayer a prayer that reveals the immense battle that rages in the world between the forces of evil under Satan's power and the forces of righteousness under God's authority it is a prayer that resonates with timeless wisdom and offers us guidance on our journey towards eternal life. Jesus tells us that eternal life is not attained through mere knowledge or intellectual understanding, but through a personal relationship with God the Father, made possible through His Son, Jesus Christ. To experience eternal life, we must humbly acknowledge our sins turn away from them and allow the love of Jesus to dwell within us through the Holy Spirit. Before Jesus' earthly mission was nearing its completion, he prayed to his Father, asking to be restored to his rightful place of honor and authority. Through his resurrection and ascension, we witness the fulfillment of this prayer. It is a testament to the power and victory of Jesus Christ, who now sits at the right hand of God. Jesus spoke of bringing glory to God, and we, as his disciples, have the honor and responsibility to reveal his presence and character through the way we live. Our lives should reflect the love, compassion, and truth of Jesus Christ, serving as a beacon of light in a world filled with darkness. In what ways does your life reveal the character and presence of Jesus? Jesus also prayed for unity among his disciples, just as the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are united. This unity is not simply achieved through organizational structures, but through the transformative work of God within us. It is a harmony that aligns our wills with His, drawing us closer to Him and to one another. However, let us not forget that unity should never come at the expense of compromising the truth. As we grow together in God's presence, our perspectives on truth should align, and we should strive for unity grounded in the truth. Judas, who betrayed Jesus, serves as a solemn reminder of the consequences of turning away from God's forgiveness. Let us seek forgiveness for our own shortcomings and extend grace and mercy to others, for it is through forgiveness that we find true freedom and restoration. In the midst of a world that may hate and reject us, let us remember that our joy is found in our intimate connection with Jesus, the source of all joy. As we remain in Him, we will experience God's special care and protection, even in the face of seemingly insurmountable challenges. We will witness the victory that God brings, even when defeat appears imminent. The world may oppose us because our values differ from theirs. As followers of Jesus, we are called to stand firm in our faith and not conform to the ways of the world. We are living testimonies that challenge the immorality of the world and remind others of the need for God's love and truth. To become pure and holy, we must believe in and obey the Word of God. It is through daily application of His Word that our minds and hearts are purified leading us back to the right path and strengthening our relationship with God. Let us immerse ourselves in His Word, allowing it to guide us and transform us into vessels of His love and grace. Jesus did not pray for us to be taken out of the world, but rather He sent us into the world as His ambassadors. As salt and light, we are called to engage with non-believers, to love them and to share our faith with creativity and consistency. Let us embrace this work that God has entrusted to us, knowing that He is with us every step of the way. Jesus' prayer extends beyond His immediate disciples. 
He prayed for all who would follow Him, including you and me. This knowledge ought to fill us with confidence and inspire us to work diligently for the advancement of His kingdom. Let us strive for unity among believers, praying for one another, building each other up, and refusing to be distracted by divisive matters. Together, we can be a powerful witness to the reality of God's love, shining brightly in a world that so desperately needs it. As we depart from this sacred gathering, may the words of Jesus' prayer echo in our hearts and guide our every step. May we embrace humility, seek unity, and live in the fullness of God's love. Let us go forth, inspired and empowered, to make a difference in the world, revealing the character and presence of Jesus Christ to all.